Hey, what's up YouTube? This is 24K signing in. I want to talk about the Yankees starting rotation and the issues that they have so far. And they have some issues right now. You got Panita. He's not only suspended, but he got hurt while serving his suspension. What does that mean? He's not even eligible for the DL until this upcoming Monday night until he successfully serves his suspension. This puts the Yankees in a predicament. So they can't call anyone up or anything until Monday. And who knows when Pineda will be back because he tore a muscle near his shoulder where he had a severe injury for the past year and a half. Um, and up until Pine Targate, up until his suspension and him getting hurt, he was pitching really well. Maybe it was to Pine Targate. Who knows? I don't know. I, who knows what effect that had. But that's another story. So I don't know. Hopefully it's not severe, his injury, but... One thing's for certain, the Yankees are going to take every precaution and they may give them, they're definitely going to give them an extra window before returning to the big leagues and actually pitching in the game because he's coming off a major injury. So they're going to take every precaution to make sure that he doesn't re-aggravate his major injury and further set him back. So he's a big question mark right now. Obviously, Nova's done for the year. He had Tommy John surgery a couple days ago, and who knows how he'll react to that. That's a major surgery, but hopefully he'll be able to come back next year 100% healthy. Hopefully. Now you got Sabathia. As much as I hate to admit it, and it's no surprise, he's no longer an ace anymore. Does that, does that mean that he won't win any more games for Yankees? No. He'll still win games, but he's not going to win games like he used to. He's coming off of his worst season. Right now he's... In my opinion, he's pitching okay at best. The one thing I respect about Sabathia is that he never wants to be taken out of the game, and even on the nights that he has bad stuff, he somehow struggles through the game to try to keep his team in the game, to, get, to put the team in position to win the game. In most circumstances, not all the time. Sometimes he gives up five, six-plus runs. But generally speaking, he... Puts his team in a position to win. But that being said, he's no longer an ace. And uh, he's lost velocity off his fastball, on his fastball. And the thing is, is that he's striking out a good amount of hitters, which is good, but he's giving up way too many hits. He needs to step it up. He, I don't expect him to be an ace anymore, but he needs to be slightly better than average here to step it up. So you got question marks with him. Let's see, who else? Kuroda, for about 75%, 80% of last year, he was the greatest Yankee starting pitcher. He, and most consistent, he was doing great. Up until about, I want to say mid-August, the last month and a half of the season, he just plummeted. But he gets a little bit of a pass because the majority of the season, he was doing great. He probably just ran out of gas towards the end of the season. But now, it's a little concerning because... Here we are in 2014, the first month into the season, and he has been pitching horrible. He's off to one of his worst starts in his, in his career, and I think he's about 39, so he's getting up there. He maybe has one or two more seasons left, in my opinion. I don't see him staying in the major leagues too much longer, but hopefully, whatever he had last year, hopefully he finds that fast. Uh, I don't expect him to be as good this, uh, this year as he was last year, but hopefully he starts stepping it up a little bit. You got Nuno. It's hard to judge a guy based on like four or five starts. Uh, there needs to be, be a bigger sample size. But so far, he's been doing okay, and I think he has potential to be a legit pitcher. Now, is he going to overpower you, the batters with his stuff? No, but I think he has potential to be a legit pitcher. And now we got Tanaka. Thank you for Tanaka, because if it wasn't for Tanaka, the Yankees starting pitching staff would be just... Maybe not in complete disarray, but near complete disarray. It's Their Yankees are so lucky to have Tanaka, the Japanese phenom. Yes, pitching in the major leagues is a lot different than pitching in Japan. And like I said, with Nuno, it's hard to judge based on like four or five, six starts in the major leagues. But he does have a lot of experience pitching professionally. So, so far he's been great slash amazing. Do I expect him to come back down to earth a little bit? Yes, of course. I don't expect him to pitch at this pace throughout the whole season, but him coming back down to earth a little bit is still great. Him coming back down to earth 
is still great than like 90, 95% of pitchers out there. In my opinion, again, and I know it's only a small sample size, so you have to take that into consideration. It's hard to judge based on a small sample size, but so far he's been pitching amazing. I think he has about like 40 strikeouts so far, maybe more, in, in about like five or six starts, which has been pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, so he strikes out a lot of batters. He has a lot of different pitches. He pitches fast, pitches, changes it up. He's he's just awesome, and hopefully he keeps it up. Now, the so he's keeping the pitching staff afloat. So what do you guys think? Do you think uh, the Yankees pitching staff is in deep trouble, a little trouble, not a big deal, nothing to be concerned about at all? I know it's only May 1st. Despite it all, there's still two games up in the division, but like I said, it's only May 1st, and a lot can happen from now until September. And what's most likely going to happen is there's not like one great, great, Team. There's a lot of good or to very good teams in the AL East, but there's not one great team right now, in my opinion. So what's going to happen is these teams play each other a lot within their own division. They're going to be beating up on each other, going back and forth. And most likely it's going to go down to the wire, but who knows for sure what's going to happen. So let me know what you think in the comment sections below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe to me and follow me on Twitter, AlexGold14. Be on the lookout for future videos. I'm going to be making more videos about the Yankees as well and other stuff as well. So thanks for watching. Go Yankees!